let's let the first number be x, then the next consecutive number would be x plus 1. And according to this first sentence, the product of these two numbers is 342. Okay, so let's distribute this x to each term. This is x squared plus x. And I'll subtract 342 from both sides. And the next thing I'll do is factor this quadratic equation. Alright, so I'm looking for two numbers whose product is negative 342 but whose sum is 1. So let me write the prime factorization of 342. I'll divide by the first prime number. It's divisible by 2. It's going to be 171. And 171 is no longer divisible, is not divisible by 2, but it is by 3. And that's going to be 57. 57 is divisible by 3. It's 19. And now I can stop there because the quotient is a prime number. So 342 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 19. So if I multiply these three numbers together, that's 2 times 3 times 3, that's, that's 18. So 18 times 19 is 342. Okay, so let's try this. Put an 18 here and a 19 here. If I multiply these two together, I would get 342. One of these needs to be negative and one's positive, so this one needs to be positive, this one's negative. So let's check this. Negative 18 times positive 19, that's a negative 342. But if I add negative 18 and positive 19 together, I will get 1. So that's the correct factorization. Now I'll go ahead and solve each of these. x minus 18 equals 0, so x is 18. And this one, x plus 19 equals 0. That gives me x is equal to a negative 19. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one out because in the context of the problem, the first sentence says the product of two consecutive positive integers is 342. So negative 19 is not positive, so that's why we throw that out. So those two integers would be 18, and then the next consecutive integer would be 19.